and I saw the cover to Iron Man number 200. Oh. And I saw the Mark Bright, Bob Layton um, drawing of the Silver Centurion Iron Man fighting Iron Monger. And I just like, it wowed me from that point on. I was hooked. I was a Marvel reader. For me, I don't know what grade I was in, but well, my parents brought home, I, I used to read all the like the Archie comics stuff growing up. And then one day my parents brought home uh, Fantastic Four 121 with the Nihilist, and I was like, what the heck is this? I was like, this is not Archie-like. <laughs> and so I was like, yeah, once I saw that comic, I was like, man, this is a whole nother world. And after that, I just, I, I stopped reading Archie's and just bought all the Marvel books and stuff like that. Yeah. Tell me how, not only comic books are entertaining, but how they're helpful for society or for kids. How comics are helpful to society? And, and to just kids. And to kids? I, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, for me, um, I would say, because I have a, I have two kids, and my son in particular, who's nine years old, he grew up um, watching the MCU. Um, not so much reading comic books yet, but he, you know, he's, his exposure is through the movies, through the TV shows, animation, and I see how much he loves these characters, you know. And I, I think even though they're fighting all the time, and he's always play fighting, so you always in the early ages kind of concerned like wait are they going to turn violent but not at all right it's more the messages like characters like Captain America and Iron Man and all these characters Captain Marvel like you know fighting for good you know all the things that they fight for um, I see the influence that it's having on him and his passion and desire to of course for the action and fighting but also just the messages that they kind of portray in those movies I would say no oh, yeah yeah I mean Back before the movies, right, the comics were all we had, right? So, I mean, so the kids, like me, I mean, I, I, I grew up learning a lot of these values through reading the comics. So that was super important. But I think with the movies now, I mean, this is massive. I mean, like, everyone knows the characters now. Everyone knows the comics. So I think the influence uh, you know, over everybody is just, like, you know, mul multiplied so much. So, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think all that stuff to, just wrapped together is just incredible, yeah. Tell me why you love cosplayers. I love cosplayers because I'm... a I'm all about passion. Like my whole career, ever since I was a kid, I loved art. I followed my passion. My whole career has been following my passion. It's what I tell my kids, what I tell young students, young artists who are trying to get into the industry, whatever industry, is following your passion and what you love. And I recognize it when I see passion. So when I meet cosplayers, and I've met and got to know so many of them through the years, I see them all the time, all the time at the Marvel premieres. And um, they're amazing. Their passion for the characters, for the craft. Um, the, you know, I see so many costumes where I'm like, oh my gosh, because I work with the real costumes for the movies, so I know what they look like. And a lot of these, I'm like, it's kind of similar, you know, as far as the quality, because they're, they're they're getting better and better with 3D printing and everything. So for me, it's all about the passion, and I love to see that they all have that. Totally. I what Andy said, but also, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing to see these people, you know, all these cosplayers make all these costumes from scratch. I mean, mm. and then to see, able to see our characters that we design, you know, like in actual real life is pretty amazing. I, I just love seeing them, like, all here. Yep. When did you hear about the Avengers Initiative and why do you think it's such a unique organization? I, I think I met Mark, I, I heard about the Avengers in Initiative by meeting Mark, I think here at Comic Con. I, I don't remember which year it was. But he introduced himself to me, that he runs this organization of cosplayers and they do a lot of charity work. Um, he's invited me several years to the annual um, photo shoot with all the Marvel cosplayers. So I've gotten to know Mark through the years, he's amazing. And I see him and his group all the time at the Marvel Studios premieres. So um, that's how I first heard about it. I knew Mark when he was like 12 or something. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. I knew his dad, right? Oh, okay. So I met him that way back then before he started any of this. And so seeing him grow till now with all this stuff is amazing. So yeah, so whenever he asks, you know, to do service or whatever for for the different events and stuff, I, I'm always happy to do that. And tell me what you think about, you know, they they're one, they're, they do a lot of things, but one of their main things is they go into the hospital. Yeah. Tell me just why that's special for the kids and why it's special to your, the Marvel organization. For me, for me, going there is special because I mean those kids, is, you know, they're already having a hard time as it is, and so it's really cool to be able to go there and kind of teach them what's going on and entertain them and then brighten their day a little bit. I mean, I, I, it makes a huge difference, I think. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't been had a chance to go to any of the hospitals yet, but that's something that I look forward to doing with Mark and the uh, Avengers Initiative and with Ron. Anything else you want to mention about cosplay or the organization, or just about Mark? 
oh yeah, I mean, as, as long as I've known him, he's been into this, and it's, and it's you know, he, it's everything he does, I mean, constantly, you know, he's like trying to find ways to help other organizations, yeah. and just pushing this, this, the whole Avengers initiative, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, and I'm slowly learning more and more about what Mark does, you know, I obviously, I I love the cosplayers and what they do, and for him to create this organization, uh, really, with just a deeper passion, not just for the characters, but to kind of do what superheroes do, right? Create a better world, and that's what he's doing, so I, I have a lot of respect for Mark.